Um, we call this press conference uh, because um, we promised uh, among ourselves uh, and the family that after we had done our duty, uh, we shall have done our duty to play our uh, two recently deceased brothers you know, to rest and had given them the proper uh, burial and all the last prayers, uh, novenas, that we would hold uh, this press conference. So let the public know uh, what happened and uh, to answer the questions, the many questions uh, we were told and speculations uh, on, the, on the deaths of uh, Nelson and, and then Marlon. So uh, a lot of the questions revolved around uh, whether they died from COVID-19. Uh, the answer to that question is uh, might, might not be a simple uh, answer. The answer is yes, they both um, tested positive for COVID-19. As did I, around the same period. But they had recovered from COVID-19. And uh, their doctors themselves would tell you and the death certificates would show that they had recovered from COVID-19 and they died from uh, in the case of uh, Marlon, I believe it was uh, yeah. Yes, the immediate cause of the death of Marlon was septic shock secondary to catheter related bloodstream infection ventilator associated pneumonia and in the case of Nelson the immediate cause was cardiopulmonary arrest secondary to probable massive pulmonary embolism and both were declared and Sahana. both were declared COVID confirmed critical pneumonia recovered Also, uh, for Mayor Marlon, COVID confirmed, critical pneumonia recovered. So, uh, as the certificate themselves will show, that uh, the pneumonia, they had, they had recovered from the pneumonia caused by the COVID-19. So, it would seem that the cause, immediate causes of their both their deaths were the post-COVID uh, treatment and interventions of uh, the medical uh, uh, the doctors no? and medical experts medical uh, experts hired. Because it's very clear, no? uh, especially in the case of Mayor Marlon, that the pneumonia was caused by uh, ventilator no? and catheter. Uh, sepsis caused by catheter and uh, also pneumonia in induced by the, by the ventilator. So uh, the answer to the question of whether my brothers died from COVID-19 uh, were answered by the doctors. No? They had recovered from COVID-19, meaning that they had been cured of COVID-19 and even the pneumonia caused by COVID-19. So why was there a second pneumonia? Uh, my sister, uh, who had been on top of the situation from day one, uh, might be able to give you a more uh, a clearer uh, um, narration and narrative 
as to why after having recovered from COVID and after having recovered from the pneumonia caused by the COVID, my brothers suffered, especially Marlon, suffered another pneumonia, uh, which as the death certificate uh, states, was the immediate cause of their deaths. Unahon sa nako pagpasabot nga pagsud sa akong duha ka igsuon wala magdungan dili sad parehas ang kahimtang sa ilang uh, panglawas sama sa giingon ni Pablo Jan positive sad siya sa covid amo na ni Gitrace na exposed ni si Pablo Jan dungan ni Nelson sa usa ka event nga nagkuyog dito ganit sad ko apan dili to earlier pa to sa ATV nga opening si Marlon mas na exposed earlier pa gyud mas na una nga na exposed sa among gitan-aw nga uh, either tungod sa usa ka event nga ilang giadtuan o kaha na infected sa iyang gikauban Okay, kuyog man sila. Si Marlon, ni una pagsulod sa, cho, sa ospital o Merkulis, Agusto 5, hapong. Pag x-ray sa iyang lungs, puti na. Nag-isod o ginhawa. Gusto kong i-intubate ni Ingon kong ayaw palihog. Ay, palihog, kanola, ang gamita. So, mo'y gihimo. Anang huy Merkulis, nitawag na si Pablo Jan. Pagpasabot na ako, kaya maikog man akong iksoon. Si Marlon, na pasabton ko. Si Pablo Jan na ang nisumbong na kanutar ko nga muragi si Pon. Mauna, ningun ko pagpatest po. Merkulis ha. Hapon, nagpa-test siya. Pagkahuibis, anniversary diri, ni-announce ko nga si Marlon positive sa COVID, nanawag si Nelson. Huwag ni Ingon nga si Marlon, kibaw ba ka na nasa ospital? Ako na po siyang gisultian nga naibaw ko sa Pablo Gianni Sumbong gahapon nga ikaw, muraglaan mo sa naimong tingog pagpa-test, huwag pa ito siya musugot. Pagka-Friday, ako nagpa-test at sad ko anang Thursday. Hasta po si board member Jimbo Borgonia, who was present sa ATV na event opening. Because we thought uh, initially also. Because initially, abi na mo, tungod to sa ATV, kinaagod ako mga iksoon. Pagka-birni sa'yo sa buntag, nigawas ang resulta sa akong swab test. Negative ko. Isayo to nila kay palarga ko padong sa liloan o katmon o padong na sa kamotes. A few, murag 30 minutes or an hour later, ni sold ang result ni Pablo Jan positive. I also requested na uh, uh, ma-speed up ang results because I had uh, lined up a number of uh, events in the district. Uh, yes. So, I didn't want to uh, subject the audience and, and the participants to uh, because that is the risk. prudent thing to do yes. kung doon na na kay symptoms ayaw in town o gawas-gawas unya libot-libot o pangaten pag uban events kay among-among ni mong uban tao so kung wako ad to makakuha o negative result sa akong swab cancel unta to tanan ako na activities Regardless, um, nangandam na tanan lungsod. Pero negative po. Nigawas ang resulta ni Pablo Jan, positive. Buntag na, dito ko nakadungog, dito ko sliloan. That was also the time nga namatay si Konseha Leo Palapil. In fact, na-delayed ang among pag-inaugurar at itong uh, 
kaning ang sanik trash garbage management nga equipment tungod ato kay namatay si Leo Pilapi pagkagawas nga positive ako dayon giingnan si in fact Dr. Yango sa IPHO niingon dayon atong padadaan dayon og mainom mga antiviral and um, acid akaning uh, antibiotics unya melatonin kay aron makatug yeah of course and vitamins and i called him ingon ko sigura ha steam inhalation so Pablo John started taking the package do naman tay package ani nga kanang maugyud ang atong ipahatag but recommendation sad ni sa DOH so religious ya Si Nelson ni tawag sa nako anang buntag birnis or ako ba to ni tawag unya niingon ko pagpa-test lagi kay nagpa-test magali ko nagpa-test si Pablo Jan niingon siya birnis na ni Tsao niya iko ako negative si Pablo Jan positive pagpa-test ni sugot gi-test Sabado sa buntag ni gawas dayon ang resulta positive si Nelson na anak ko sa kamotes so akong giingnan si Dr. Ryango nga mo gihapon padad ingat to sa mga tambal dayon pareha sa imong gipadaan ni Pablo Jan sa ako na lang nasabtan gidiretso og check-in si Nelson sa ospital anang hapuna nanawag na nako si Dr. Ryango nakurat na ko pagkadungog nganong ni diretso man mao ra man ilang sitwasyon ni Pablo Jan pero dito na siya sa ospital I later on learned wag siya kainom. Kay pagka Domingo, check in man siya private room. Pagka Domingo, text na siya nako nga ila man kong ipada sa ICU. Na ako sa poro, lisod ka signal pero naningkamot kog tawag niya. Ya niingon ko nganong pada magag ICU, wa siya kahibaw. So ako ang gipapangutana tanan dito sa ospital ngano man, ngano man. Unya ni sumbong siya. Unya di man ko nila pa imnon sa tambal nga imong gihatag. Ang gitubag nako sa mga akong gipapangutanan ni Dr. Yango, ospital ug ang ban pa kay aron kuno mas ma-monitor si Nelson. So, mauto as far as we could dili gud unta mi gusto si Marlon si Nelson dili gusto pa intubate apan mo i recommendation gi intubate in spite of that my brother spot on and recovered. and recovered na intubated August 13 sila gidungan iuna si Nelson pagkabuntag a few hours later gisunod si Marlon in spite of that my brothers were slowly weaned away hinay-hinay nagkuha ang ventilator Kay kaya na nila. Yeah, Uwinig hangos, ibalik. Adili. Kung pwede na to, unta, nadili, unta. Tungod at to, ni-text si Marlon. Kay nangumusta si Christina, akong anak. Sige man nag-text. Niingon si Marlon, na ang text, we will withhold that for evidence. Ningon si Marlon, I have been here for seven, more than 70 days without food. I am okay na gyud kaayo. Please tell your mom to tell the doctor, I will sign any waiver. I just want to go home. I am more worried about the bills piling up. When may I also interject lang yun, when yes. this is relevant, no? I also also received a series of texts and even Viber messages from Marlon, no? He even took a selfie of himself, no? He said, okay naman ko. Anong di makubuhian? Nining ako mga doktor. No? Uh, so I said, sige, I will, I will get to the bottom of this. No? And then Gwen also uh, got to the bottom of it. No? Uh, so, mauna I, diha. I was just, I just interjected because uh, to let you know, uh, I also received a series of texts from him. I have it. And Viber messages from him. And that was on August 24. See? It is all recorded sa akong cellphone. August 24, buntag. Kana nga same text ni Marlon, ni Christina, please tell your mom. 
that I'm willing to sign any waiver. Tell doctor, and I will not mention the name, I will sign any waiver. I just want to go home. I am more, I am okay. I am more worried about the bills piling up. Because of that, I asked for a meeting with my brother Winston, with the two um, spouses of my brothers, si Jima, ug si Yang Yang, Dr. Yang Yang, ug sa mga doctors unta. I was asking for it the whole day because I said, what na ila in time, karong lunis, kay pagka Martis, magsugod na mag-awarding, magtuyok na ko sa Tibo Provincia. Inyo man na matrace ang atong awarding sa Subusog, kada distrito. So, maulik ko gabi ina kaayo, wala na ko'y time. So, karong karon lunis yun. Dr. Ayango got in touch with the doctors. Ang usa ka doktor ni Ingong Bisi kayo siya. Ang usa dili ko no mo atubang kung dili makuyog ang usa. We eventually ended up because I said there I have no other time. From Tuesday onwards. Gabi ina ko mo kaayo mabalik diri sa siyudad. Nya sayo kay ko mulakaw. Finally we ended up katong usa ka doktor tawag na lang siya og cellphone na among gitawag sa cellphone gilaw gi among gi speaker ang audio na si Winston na minaw ako si Jima si Yang Yang ug si Doktora Yango We did not see the other doctors wala mo atubang So gipada ang text ni Marlon ngadto ni ini nga doktor unya niingon mi nga mahimo ba kay ni pirma man dili mo sugot dili mo sugot ni nga doktor ug na pa siya laing gisulti dili rin nako isultin ni apan siya na mismo niingon okay wala na ang virus So amo na na silang gibalhin karong adlaw gikan o katubatong adlaw gikan sa COVID ICU ngadto sa katong ilang special kuno nga ICU nga nagay kuno usa ka nurse nga magbantay So it was against medical advice and she would have none of it I said mo pirma og waiver iyang duna siya gisulti ni Marlon So mauto August 24 So, ditingog si Winston pagkadungog nga gibalhin atong ICU. Ningon si Winston, kana rabang ICU mao nay labing infectious nga environment. Naibaw siya kay siya mismo dito sa St. Luke's ni undergo siya og major operation. Ang iyang doctor would not allow him to stay a minute longer. Pagkahuman sa operasyon, gibalik, gibantayan lang usa kay dunay say gamay bleeding, worried na kayo ang doctors nga na-extended ang stay. One hour. After about an hour, gibalik dayon siya sa iyang kwarto. Oh. After one week, gipapauli dayon. Kay lagi hadlok ta ang mga doktor niya kay naa diha ang labing taas nga infection sa ICU kay kadaghanan din ha sa mga bacteria multi drug resistant na kanang gitawag og MDR tungod sa katag-as na sa mga antibiotics mga third generation or unsa pang klase nga gipang utang diha kadaghanan diha sa mga bacteria resistant na to antibiotics that is a fact that the doctors of Winston have uh, emphasized that is a fact nga ang akong iyaan nga to us sa uh, America anesthesiologist Corinta pila na ba ka tuig siya dito dugay dugay na gyud and Mabel also. and a fact that Mabel also my, my other um, my cousin kay ba ang akong iyaan ni ingon nga Grabe ka ayo ang infection diha sa ICU. Niingon pagi siya, Dr. Veneranda Kagande. Fiel Kagande, suon sa akong inahan. And 
she objected nangutana siya kanang ventilator was it properly clean that has to be done with the very sterile conditions kay ini pump out ana na musudiha ang infection she was talking all about this what what do we did what do we know so monday to ngani text si marlon sige text ko kang pj pagka tuesday nag develop na fever ang akong duha ka igsuon 38.2 kay nag i was getting an update morning and afternoon bisan pag nagtuyok ko sa probinsya sige ko og update ng kang doktor yango na nawa patawgo na ko unsa na unsa na hasta ang ilang oxygen oxygen saturation level i am aware we have that report Dr. Yango can corroborate. But steadily, I saw nga ni-deteriorate o ni-deteriorate akong mga iksoon. Daghana ang mga gipagawas ng mga infections. Kay si Marlon, doon ay polyps kuno sa Tian. Kay si Nelson, doon ay kuan sa kasing-kasing. And all of this. Obviously, secondary bacterial infection had set in. And I was really, really scared. Because I was beginning to see that even though magkalahi sila pag soon, nagpariha ang pattern. Ninomdom pa ko, pag text ni Marlon anang Monday, nga, kang Christina, nga papa, mugawa, pa, patabang na siya, nga mugawas. I talked to Christina, and Christina said, Mom, You know, kinanglan na nato tabangan. Katubaya si Konsihal Pilapil, murag po pareha nga it started, gamay ra o kuan. Symptoms, it went on and he stayed for a month. Ang tod, he died. Nga nag heart attack while undergoing dialysis when he never had dialysis. That was a Friday. Pagka Monday, gihimo dialysis na ang akong duha ka iksoon. And I was frantic because I was seeing the same pattern. Ang duha. Kuan lang ko no. Temporary. But nahimo nang kadaadlaw. That was a Monday. Pagka Tuesday at 10.10 p.m. I got a call. Gikod si Nelson. Namatay na si Nelson. Pagka Wednesday I was, we were all there. Nag meeting me, mga iso on how to break it to my father. It's not easy for a father to lose a son. We tried all that we could, but Marlon steadily deteriorated the same way Nelson did. He kept on fighting. I knew that. But at over mga one o'clock in the morning on Sunday, he too passed away. On the day that we buried my brother Nelson, Sunday, September 6th, my brother Nelson passed away September 1st. Five days later, Marlon died. We could not even break it to my father that day. It was too much to witness the burial of one son and to hear of the death of another. I have not posted anything except the picture of a series of pictures on that day, August 2, when we opened the ATV experience did to Sabarili. That was when he greeted me. We were hugging and he kept on saying, thank you, Gwen, thank you. On that post, Ingunko, no words, just why? 
Nga naman. Yeah, and, and that's precisely uh, precisely why we're here. No? I, I'm not here as congressman or deputy speaker. I'm, Gwen is not here as governor. We're, we're just here as brother and sister asking why. Nga no? naman, COVID-19 and its consequences has been shown in the past ilaka months to be a highly treatable disease. That is the latest now in the province. 84.9 yeah. recover. In the province alone, the recovery rate is 84.9%. And my brothers were not at the age where they were critically uh, in danger of dying from the effects of COVID. In fact, they did recover from COVID. We know of people nga who are worse off physically, health-wise, than my brothers, no? who are 70, 80 years old, who recovered from COVID with the right treatment. And we're asking because our family did not spare any expense. No? We did not prohibit any expense. Buhata ang tanan necessary. Now, in fact, as the hospital bill will show you, for, for Mayor Nelson, the bill was more than 3 million pesos. For Mayor Marlon, the bill was more than 5 million pesos as initially billed to us. I know of people who were worse off health-wise, physically and age-wise, more advanced who spent not even 10, 20% of that and covered by PhilHealth even, who recovered. So we'd like to simply ask the question why. And perhaps, I don't know if their deaths were senseless. But if their deaths are to have any meaning, then Tingali, let's ask the question so that the lessons we learn from these questions may perhaps save other people's lives. We cannot bring back our brothers to life, but perhaps we can save others from dying. What I have learned, because I have my own brothers to compare from and whatever whatever in yung isulti tanan nga ni kontra sa tanan ako nga gisuggest kamo kay mas kamao mo nga experts magud mo well I hope you will not have the same experience that I went through because Two of my brothers died. One live. Silang tulo positive. Silang tulo went through different courses. Ang duha ni Sudo Hospital. What na ron? Pablo John stayed at home, took the medications on the crucial first three or four days religiously. Now you see him. I want you to see him because people are still spreading ugly rumors about Pablo John too. He's alive and well, thank God. Because common sense prevailed. Yes, I, I'd just like to ad address that because I, I heard, because uh, you know, immediately after my brother died, you know, I did not go on Facebook, I deactivated in fact, you know, because uh, 
to show to to show respect to my brother, I wanted to maintain silence. And uh, I'd like to address the rumors that I <laughs> I'm dead or I was critically ill or I was ever uh, in in uh, danger of of, of death. Um, uh, when I when I took the test, you know, my my I had uh, minor symptoms. No? I had a uh, running nose. Uh, so. Loss of taste. Yeah, and, and what's the good? Di ba nakay loss of taste? Yeah, yeah. After that, the test. So that's why I, I, as advised by my sister Gwen, I immediately uh, took a swab test. And. Uh, Wednesday, to, August Wednesday, five. August five. So August six, I learned that I was positive. No, August seven. Ah, seven na ba? Friday. And uh, immediately took the medications. Uh, another symptom manifested itself after I had uh, learned of my results, and that was um, uh, the loss of sense of smell and, and taste. Uh, but because I religiously took katung mga medication, uh, I think this is also recommended by DOH. Uh, no other symptoms uh, developed, and uh, even way before my 14-day quarantine, I was I was uh, well enough you know, in in my house. Of course, uh, my only problem was uh, you know boredom, no, and not being able to move around and having to cancel a lot of activities in my district. So uh, I just like to address that. Okay, you know. Karong ko mga tao dahan kayo ng wailingaw, no? And uh, they're ready to believe the worst and to spread you know, the worst lies uh, on the in, uh, in the internet. So uh, thank you for for the opportunity to to address that issue. So Pablo John learned of his result Friday morning, as I said. It's all documented. May mangguning magsige ma make text na so it's all documented sa among exchange of text He immediately took the medications that day Si Nelson learned kay na one day later siya learned of his uh, positive result Saturday Ipadad andayo na to. It reached, should have reached him. But he was not given. Gidirit sa ugsod, anang sabado sa ospital, puong pa niya, pag sumbong niya na ko, pagka Friday, nga ibalhin siya from a private room to an ICU, dili ipainom niya ang mga tambal nga akong gihatag. Di ko nung ipainom sa ospital, and now, upariha mangkut sila. Dungan-dungan mani sila ka infect ng Pablo John. But Pablo John is alive because he took immediate action. Ni patuo sa di pa recommend na ang na i dosages tanan si Dr. Rayango mo ini endorse. Si Nelson would have wanted kani sumbong nako. Somehow, wala siya kainom. Unsay dipirin siya kang Marlon. Marlon got infected much earlier. Nya, kay maikugon ka ayo niya. Nagsigi in town, padayog trabaho. Niabot na ang time na naglisod na siya ginhawa. August 5 pa. Nagpadiritso siya nga to sa ospital. Anang hapon. By the time nga gi x-ray ang iyang lungs, the report was puti na. But kanola ang gigamit or high flow. I also have text the following day na nibalik og 100% ang oxygen saturation niya. Nako yung mga text ana from Dr. Yango. These are all documented. In spite of that, nagsigi recommend ang mga doktor intubation, intubation. Niyon sa ko dili lagi dili si Marlon dili gusto pa intubate. Because. Si Nelson, kay even, mobitaw nang doon na tayo daghang kanola, 25 ni ka units, gida ni Secretary Galvez. 
ang head sa National Task Force. In a meeting dito sa office ni Secretary Mike Dino, ibalik-balik niya in front of Dr. Aquino. Ma'am, meron akong 25 units. Doc, bigyan mo si ma'am. Ito na ang gamitin natin kasi yung ventilator more than anything mura, mas marapin pang namatay dyan. Well, now Marlon died of ventilator acquired pneumonia. Marami, marami pa ang namamatay dyan. Kanula na ang gamitin. Si Nelson Kay nang pang nangutana masad ko sa dia gi check in gi check pugos nganto gi pasud gyud bisad maybe that was not yet pero well maybe na ay makiglalis na pud nako nga kinangan mo diretso mo ospital pero pag x-ray the report was his lungs were in much better shape kay it was only his lower back portion nga medyo ni glassy kang marlon puti nako Lessons learned. It is crucial that you immediately take medications on the first three or four days. But it does not mean you must be intubated. Pablo John stayed at home, did frequent steam inhalation. Bash me if you want, pero ako naman yan kung gawa kaisoon, kamawa. I'd also like to, to, to add to that, no? Nga, when I decided to, to self-isolate at home, no? uh, some doctors uh, suggested to my wife, no? uh, why not bring him to a hospital? Kaaron ma closely monitor. And so I said, ayaw, di ko, kay anak ko sa hospital, Anak na nung kus hospital masakit. Karon, wak naman ni akong symptoms, no? Simple kaya akong symptoms. Kumusod ko sa hospital, basik dito na noon. Grabe, kay dagat kay kagaw ng hospital. And that is exactly it, it, these words are coming back to me and haunting me because that is exactly what happened to my brothers. Na they died not from COVID or the pneumonia that was caused by COVID because they had recovered. That's in the doctor's report. That's in the death certificate, medical certificate. They died tungod sa kagaw na ilang nakuha sa hospital. So, I would say also as a survivor, although among you, no, if you can avoid it, I go to the hospital. Na na may nahibawa na mga doktor karon and even DOH nga how to treat the symptoms of COVID. So ano man lang adi naman lang ta self isolate in the comfort of our own homes. Of course, na alay mga madisplace kaya ako, ako asawa, ako mga anak na dog na ako hinang lang niha wag sila unya ng ngita yun sila laeng kwarto but uh, uh, na naman ng mga nahibawan karon after six months or pila na months of this uh, outbreak from the outbreak of COVID uh, medical uh, medical uh, knowledge has grown by leaps and bounds no? and they now know of certain certain drugs which are cheap uh, cheap very cheap and yet there are so many up in arms against uh, these drugs oh pero uh, there are also some dili ni tanan ha kay we know of certain other hospitals no oh, igigamit nga mo igigamit so what when we say avoid hospitals uh, there are certain we, we question certain procedures are asking questions about the interventions made on our brothers what namo ing nang atanan hospital no in fact 
kung nai mo tanan ng we would re recommend certain hospitals uh, ayaw lang ni and avoid 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 lang ani o sa uh, uh, nga maayo kayo and then I think their batting average is is so good na almost 100 percent because they they immediately uh, introduce these intervention cheap drugs that have been proven to be very effective in combating the effects or symptoms of, of COVID. No? And yeah, <laughs> can you know on? No? Because the hospital bills will tell you nga ang mga tambal nga gihatag ani nila were 10,000 times more expensive than what I took. I would say that 10,000 times or more expensive than the drugs I took. Pero nga naman hinoon, uh, namatay man akong duha kay Suon. Kang Mayor Marlon Good, no, sa ilang bill, ang pharmacy, pharmacy lang daan, 2.4 million. 2.4 million. Ako kung imong I-computing ali ang tanan na kung drugs nga gi, gi uh, medicine nga gi inom ambot mong kaabot wag 10,000 So the lesson here is uh tagaw ang atong kontra no kanang corona virus no? Let's treat it sa atong balay nga kibawta nga why tagaw mas limpyo mas limpyo no Dita mo dangog dayon sa sa usa ka uh, lugar nga daghang keng kagaw nga di na mamatay sa ordinaryong drugs. COVID-19 nahibaw na ta karon nga will mamatay ra na siya no? within okay. a certain period and the symptoms can be treated with ordinary drugs nga perti rang baratuha over the counter. So uh, first lesson, if you can avoid going to the hospital and taking medically approved no, DOH recommended treatment, uh, mahimo ra sa balay, ato na lang sa balay. And address it immediately, the first three or four days, five yeah. days, and, and, and Ay, palay, immediate get. No. Once you have you have uh, symptoms, symptoms no? pa test, swab test dayon, libre man ang swab test. Kaning hospital gani, pag suod nila, ipabayad pa sila ang swab test. Libre man ang sa sa DOH. And uh, uh, immediate testing, no? and then once you have the results, no? uh, immediately take uh, the recommended uh, medications. I have the medica I have a list of the medication, kung maybe later, unya na lang, in press con, if anybody wants, kung, kung unsa to, I can give you a list of what I took. By the way, the son of Marlon, si Jan Jan, and his wife also tested positive. But they were immediately given the same package yeah. of medications and were told na magtuob two, three times a day. Bash me if you want. But as I said, kamu nga mo bash na ako bahay na ng tuo, I hope di mo mat yan ugwa ka iksoon. They did not have to go to the hospital. Jan Jan and Honey, na ayura. We are asking questions at this stage, no? Uh, kami bagora may naglubong, no? Sa among kanuang isuon nga namatay, bagora na tapos ang novena. Uh, as of now, we are asking questions, and yes, we will ask as experts to weigh in. 
to look at the, the medical records, to look at the treatment and intervention uh, given our brothers. Okay, one mo kayo, pareha mo kayo nahitabo nila. No? Uh, same team of doctors, same treatment given, no? same hospital, no? uh, same ICU. Uh, unya, pareha man ang ilang progression o pagkamatay sa COVID no? o ang ila pong pag-deteriorate o ilang pagkamatay there is a pattern no? and then as as uh, Gwen said um, mamansad ang pattern sa sa kamatayon ni uh, Leo Pilapil no? kung siya Leo Pilapil sa konsolasyon na no, si um, Liloan. Ah, Liloan. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Liloan na mga sad. Naaptan mo sa kabuan. Na ayaw na sa COVID pero given the same uh, same strategy, same treatment, same interventions, same hospital, same ICU, nga nung mausad, mausad ang pattern. We will ask kay kami, di ba ako, abogado man ko. No? Si Gwen is not a doctor. So, kami sa among pamilya, wa may doktor. No? So, we will ask experts no? uh, to to look at this and weigh in. Unsa, unsa may naitabo? Could this have been done differently? No? Would it have been more prudent? No? Uh, ni recover naman. Would it have been more prudent not to put them in a highly infectious uh, uh, environment, uh, the most infectious environment in any hospital, which is the ICU, the regular ICU? So, at this point, we are asking questions, but we cannot answer that ourselves. We must have been lucky. Mangutana, Ms. Experts. So would there be um, any legal action that the family will take? Oh, it's too early, you know. Uh, well, it's too early in the day, you know, to be talking about that. As I said, you know, we have just. Pagora may naglubong sa among mga isuon. Pagora na human ang among mga nubina. Depending on what the experts will say. Uh, only to you know to give justice no? uh, to the death of my brothers what kind of and also but at this point no, we are saying this we're raising questions uh, to make people aware na na ay mga tao nga ni recover na sa covid uh, pero ang post covid treatments and intervention Mau ilang nama tian, dilik lang aku dah kait soal dagan. So dilik hak mayo nga atau nang tanawon. Even to the doctors, the medical community, we humbly ask them. Okay, kibaw mangko nga naamai uban sang doctors and some hospitals. Nga who do not recommend this? Nga you do not take a person who has recovered and put him in an in a highly infectious. Uh, environment such as an ICU. Na may mga doctors who told us that they would never recommend that. No. And as we see from the nar narrative, from the na narration of facts borne out by the medical record, no. it, uh, when they had already recovered and they were put in the transferred to, to the regular ICU, that was when their fever and their, their uh, uh, infections began. No? So, we're asking these questions. We're not experts. Um, so, we'll ask experts to and also, on a personal level, nga ako, having recovered no? with hardly any serious symptoms, nga, to tell the public that what is key is once you 
once you have signs or symptoms na murag sip uh, on you suspect paswap dayon yeah i'd like to interject there yes because i'm warning the public from our own experience it really pays na magpaswap dayon mo kung naa mo mga symptoms runny nose cough fever lain ang tiyan loss of taste or smell pagpaswap gyud dayon because and this is a recent experience dunay usa i will not say kinsa but someone that i know nga nagsugod ang symptoms gisi report na ko niyon ko ipaswap but according to the recommendation of a, part, a certain doctor ipahuwat usa og upat o lima kaadlaw i cannot understand why so and this happened two days ago i said no wa may kustar na magpadami nga to para iswab nganong huwaton man i think even doctors some doctors do not understand the importance of immediate action the importance of immediately knowing kung positive ka kay aron the proper medications may be applied so di pa swab gyud na ko i insisted karon ni gawas na may na lang kay negative you know why i was so concerned because this person is working closely for one of the family so i was really very concerned may na lang kay negative yeah. but kung sundon tong recommendation aning doctor friend of one in the family waton usag mo pasar ang fourth or fifth day in the meantime what if positive unya ni progress na unya wa siya ka inom press ni nelson bisag naa na unta ang tambal wa man gipa inom i feel very strong kipa mo so good sa among ordeal the moment i learned na na si marlon sa hospital august 5 i had not had one peaceful moment next he ko ba akong dukan ko ta to tarong I was even scared for myself. I lower my immune system. I was like, I don't know what to do. It's not easy. I was like, I don't know what to do. After one month, I was like, I was like, the medical experts. I was like, I don't know what to do. Would it have been better? And I will say this clearly. Okay? You cannot help asking questions. Kung kaha, na wind away na mga kaha, kaya nga insistir magiumog intubator, or kanang ventilator, na wind away na, ang pasyente, mupirma na waiver. Isa na lang, utagibalhin ninyo private room, dili sa ICU, pero mas mahal ang ICU, no? Kaya sa private room, kaya kung, Nurse mo lang kahang at tumbi apas nga mo'y magbantay. Makahayang mo tag private nurse. Pero ang saman lang eh. What did I know? Di man ko doktor. Kamu mga nang bash na ko. Yaga-yagaan ko ninyo. You've torn me to bits. Tungod kay akong i-recommend. Very simple home remedies. Kaya sa mga tao. Mo na. Who am I? Makiglalis ko nila. They had the lives of my brothers in their hands. 
But the way it went, namatay gihapon and left behind horrendous medical bills. Now you draw your conclusions. Pablo John is alive. John John and Honey are alive. They were very much exposed to Marlon. Dunay ubang konsihal sa barili. Lakip na ang bisi mayor ng kapasitim pun. Wa mo pa ospital buhi. Ang duha ka igsuon. What na? Nelson would come here every afternoon. Pakatawon ko. <laughs> Marlon changed the face of Brilly. Nagkaroon ko pa isang plano. Once you have symptoms, pagka test, isolate yourself. Ayaw ito ang paglibot-libot o lakaw-lakaw kaya maka-infect mong uban, maka-among-among mo. Pagka test, Pusog na mag-resulta ron ba? And immediately kung positive mo, take the proper medication. For this, I would like to thank Secretary Mike Dino. He has supplied thousands of abigans at mga ospital tanan. But in this particular hospital, dili ipainom mga kong gihatag na abigan. Nagika ni Secretary Mike Dino. Kaya ang ilag yun ipainom Katong ilang charge yan, initially 80,000. Kadahatan. Pagkadungog na we raise the roof na itong 80,000, napo, kapo, napo, sa itong 80,000. 800,000 na. When we hit the roof, kasi Nelson, mauna ang feedback, 80,000. Ginaog nila to 10,000. Kibaw ba mo nagpalit may aning ang medisina para sa atong provincial hospitals? Di lang na ko inisgutan. Pero nami PO, Ang cost ana na ilang charge yan ng 80,000? 6,350. Lain-lain raba ang costing na may igaagaw. Nasood saan, sa maugya pong ospital, iswab, katulo na negative. Pero gipa inom gihapon anang tambala. Naaman mi, naaman mi tanan records, nahatag ng tuga pinadit. Dili lang Garcia ang apelyido. Pa inom gihapon anang tambala, ang charge 20 mil. Diperensya, diper ang presyo. Pero tag 20 mil. Unya gi discharge after 3 days. Of course why na bayran. Kay i charge must feel health moderate 400,000. Mawagya po ng ospital. Pero mas maigil, kay 750,000 man ang makulikta. So, yung nag-abot ng critical, kinanglan i-intubate, kinanglan na i-ventilator. Pero in spite of that, maski maayo, basta ka-afford lang ka, ibalhin ka, guys, siyo. Oto, niabot ang bill sa akong iksoon o 5.2 million. This is what happened to us. The public is free to draw your own conclusions. What is this all about? 
What is the treatment of COVID all about? Is it really to save lives or to make money? Alang bani aron mabuhi o aron mas dako ang makulikta. close their names at this time no okay. uh, yeah uh, you know uh, we, we will we will get uh, experts in pulmonology and experts in uh, uh, infectious diseases no? uh, the local medical community is very uh, close knit uh, community no? so we'd rather not uh, disclose our experts at this time could it also include uh, government regulators, the experts from government regulators? Well, but you know, in, in, in any in any inquiry, no, uh, I think the best, I think one of the best, uh, uh, first, I'm, I'm speaking as a lawyer, no? uh, when we get uh, experts, we always go first to the med, uh, government medical experts because uh, well, the government and number two uh, we all know that uh, they're more exposed no, to cases and, and they have uh, a vast experience in this field so of course we will we will uh, in this case it's uh, UH. uh we have not gone that far no uh, we have not uh, discussed it. As you said, we have just barely uh, had time after the uh, past few weeks of, uh, as you can imagine. So uh, we will discuss that with the, with the family and with the experts. Well, what about us? What time do you think Sir Marlon? Uh, wala itong ipabalin na siya dahil hospital kasi siya po yung sa akin na hospital. Well, I think uh, my sister can, can uh, answer that better. You know, nindot kayo ng kuwan ba? Looking back. Because you have 2020 vision. You try to imagine us, pamilya, ang nagsulti na di musugot pinaka-espesyalista. Kung napasay, di puno, anak, di lang ako isulti. Di yun siya musugot. At the time, who could have foreseen nga mo deteriorate? Butuo mang kakisama yung tuo, di ba, doktor? Nga nung amo mang, why would even think nga amo ibalihin ng lang hospital? We still had faith in this doctor. She said something, wagay na ko tubaga. I did not want to antagonize her. During that conversation, nga wala siya mo atubang na mo. Gi loudspeaker lang ang telepono. Yung na siya gisulti. I bit my tongue. You know me, ako, makadungog lang ko ko sa, mureak ko, wala ko nireak. Kay, ang ako lang yun nga, ayuho niya ang akong mga manghun. Monday to. By Tuesday, nag-fever. Deteriorate, deteriorate. Finally, Pagkamatay na ni Nelson, adi, nag-dialysis na, diha na ni, and Dr. Ayango is aware of this, she can, kuan, Friday when I was talking, okay, grabe naman, kita naman yung klarong infections nila, niingon ako, nga nung dili naman lang ni sila ibalhin, there has to be a breakthrough, they are obviously following the wrong strategy, kinahangan doon na yung mausab, ani, usbo nila ilang strategy, but, and you, you have to know this, I'm not the final decision maker here. Dili, it's Pablo Jan. It's the immediate family. And of course, the immediate family, nito usad. Yun, kay mga, sila gun yung pinaka experts. But by the time na matay na, 
si Nelson. Si Winston ni way in na ningon ibalhin ta nagla in ospital. Or even then at that time, iko ibalhin na og lain nga kuan nga room ayaw diha. Ang tubag. Naghimo dialysis naman niya ang dialysis machine na araman sa ICU. Dili man makaya sa private room. Wag ibaut ako mga iksuon. Clarification, Prof. Um, is the family implying that this particular hospital is kanang nangwarta sa COVID treatment, not just in, not just with your two brothers, but also in other. As I said, Dale, we are asking questions right now. We will have conclusions later on, but certainly uh, we are looking at these circumstances. Ganong taas mo kayo ang bill. Ganon man nga, after having recovered, continuous mangyap mo ng katong ilang strategy nga, which would cost a lot. So we are raising questions. We are not making conclusions yet. That's for the experts later on to, to uh, tell us no? whether this uh, treatment, this particular intervention, could have, which were expensive, uh, could could have been uh, avoided, and another uh, route taken. So, at this point, the family uh, uh, is grieving, and the family is asking questions. But we would like to make the public aware uh, that there are these kinds of. Uh, of uh, treatments and interventions that could cause the death of a patient who has already recovered from COVID. So it's not it's not the COVID that's in these cases. Uh, it's not the COVID that was the problem. It was the intervention after they had recovered from COVID that, according to the medical certificate, said caused the deaths of my brother. So, uh, I don't know, the public is aware. So that's simbako, simbako lang, because I would not wish this thing to happen even to my worst enemies. Not even to my worst enemies. Kasakit. Simbako, simbako lang. Usa sa inyong pamilya, uh, mabot sa, pan, sa punto nga na kinanglan na sa hospital no ah uh, ali ma-avoid ninyo ang uh, kaning mga hospital or mga mga treatment na or intervention na inay nga maka maka maayo sa usa ka pasyente mao no eh, maka makapatay sa usa ka pasyente so uh, this is if, if our brother's death would have any meaning at all, it is, uh, well, to prevent others from, from suffering the same fate. So, uh, ask around. Ask around lang. We will not, di uh, amo, it's not our job. Ask around. Kung asa man ang hospital na, who try to avoid ka ng ventilator, no? the ventilator cause the death. And who only, who only use ventilators as a last resort, and ask around lang, and uh, uh, ask around which hospitals have a pretty high batting average of uh, COVID recoveries. Actually, dili man COVID recoveries. No? Okay, they recover naman ang akong mga iso. No? It's the treatment after they they recovered. No? How? Uh, so that's that's. Uh, that, to answer your question, right now we are only asking these questions to make the public aware that there is this kind of, of thing going on. We are not making any conclusions yet, uh, but the public should be forewarned. Should be forewarned. Should be forewarned. Sir, um, 
did the hospital po explain why do they have to keep your brother your brother in ICU po knowing the fact that both of them have recovered already did they explain it to you ano pa po may or wala pa well didn't I say that on the day that Marlon sent that text and he said Chris tell your mom di ba ningong ko I'm willing to sign any waiver and then I said and I am repeating this we asked for a meeting with the doctors none of them faced us only one answered kay busy kuno tayo sila and I only had that day to talk with them because I was going around the province pagka Tuesday and when we asked her that Marlon already wants to go out she refused and did I not say that the reason why yung gibalhin gikan sa COVID ICU kuno ni anak na particular ICU kay dunay usa ka nurse nga ma-assign ra gyud ana sa akong brothers sa duha but now my sister-in-law Jima tells me in fact the nurse was going around mora gyud toy rason kay na ay particular nga nurse nga ma-assign tagsa sa akong duha ka igsuon kung doktor pa ko with the knowledge of my my uh, aunt who is in the states an anesthesiologist i would immediately have said then ato ibutang og private room kay doktor man ko nga kibaw man kong infectious kaayo na diha nga environment but winston told her this doctor from experience ningon siya from experience, ako na nang gi-istorya. Okay? Nga kana na bang ICU mo ilabing infectious na environment. Mautong siya, nga gi-operahan, nagdali yun ang doktor, nga, pabalik sa iyang private room. Unsay tubag, yan ang doktora, kuha mo tingog. Ako, Layman man lagi taong ko, kutob ramang kong tuog. Di harag yung kutob in taong ng akong kutob pag una ako na, uy, padadaan ako air purifying system dito. Nagpada ako. Pero, resistant na magali sa highest generation of bacteria, of, of antibiotics ka ng mga bacteria di ha. Sa mantay mahimo atong akong purification system. Patag sa antur na ako. Gawas pa sa ipadadaan ako. Pag yun, huwag ka ng personal. Ipaduol lang nila. Morang that's the best I could do. Di ba? Kung kaduol nila. And, and I think, uh, Dale, ba to answer your question? This question should be raised now. Okay. No? Naman good ning ongoing but um, can you tell me about field health and how hospitals are charging field health? And right now, we know that ang lahi man ang charging, no? Uh, kung kung uh, suspected of COVID, hundred sixty thousand no? COVID suspect. They charge field health up to hundred sixty thousand. No? Kung uh, moderate. moderate symptoms of COVID, 400,000. Kung critical, meaning kinanglan na ni ICU, 750,000. So, this question should be ans answered now, asked now, so that they will be answered. Na, isn't there an incentive no, for the hospital to put People who otherwise would not be need, needing ICU confinement to put them in ICU so that a hospital, I'm not saying which particular hospital, a, a hospital can charge the maximum of 750,000 with field help. Diba? Isn't that question relevant now? Kinaman ko Naman ko'y igagaw, okay? who around the same time was 
admitted to the same hospital. Kay abi na, na may symptoms, no? Admit siya. Pero pag test nila negative. Okay? Negative. So meaning, dili gyud na COVID suspect o labi na gyud nga dili moderate COVID suspect. Pero nga naman nga bisag negative na siya. Kapila di test. Kapila di test, kapila. Kalima gud siya di X-ray. Okay? Clear man ang primero X-ray. Uy, basig dili ni tinuod kay clear man. Si kaduha, clear di hapon. Katulo, clear na. Kalima siya gi gi uh, X-ray. So bisag negative na siya ang iyang test no? sa sa COVID sa swab test. He underwent the same treatment. I hatagan gyud pon siya tong tambal nga nga uh, tong mahal kayo. Ila no? konsulta ang sa to. Kanang mahal kayo. Nga pero, para treatment sa COVID. Para maglain-lain ang presyo. Oh, maglain-lain ang presyo. Cinta na, 20 na IGs. Oh. Oh. Nga naman, nga negative man siya for COVID, nga nung pa-undergo man siya treatment for COVID. Iyang bill, 400,000. Wa siya na bayran, kaya ito sa bill help. No? So, aren't these questions valid now? Sag din na lang may. No? Kung ilan may charge yan, may ita may paagi, makabayad may ng milyon-milyon. Pero, wak ba nila ang mga hospital? Wak ba uh, ang mga hospital? I'm not saying all hospital. But is it possible nga na yung mga hospital na gitikasan na ang gobyerno? At Sa pag-diagnose pala. At the expense of the government. Aron maka-charge sa PhilHealth. At the expense of the of taxpayers. The, and at the expense of people's lives. Yeah, at the expense of people's lives. Nga giving them Uh, medication, treatment, and interventions that are unnecessary and might be de uh, detrimental to their health. No? So, uh, isn't this relevant at this time? No? Nga dunay, dunay uh, investigation on how hospitals and certain officials of uh, field health are apparently conniving no? uh, to uh, defraud Uh, feel help and de uh, has caused the depletion of its uh, resources. So, and so, how about ongoing or that's so good now investigations in India regarding any legal fraud using the feel help now? Are we backing up this investigation that we are conducting? Of, of course, it, since the start, even before. I think no, I started yeah, it. Oh, yeah, even With before. That statement yeah. of mine before. Ngadaghan ka ayo, mas kilain ang cause of death, ingnon ang pagtungod ato na lang ni i-covid kay para libre kay advance man kanang IRM nila i-advance man korta nga kinang lang ma-liquidate dayon kay aron makakuha na sa sunod na tranche as wa ko wa ko ma-updated pero kay baw ko duha na ka tranches ang nadawat sa mga ospital meaning dali nga na-liquidate at first kunya asa man labin dali ma-liquidate 750,000 <coughs> di ba where All others nga mga sakit, kung PhilHealth card carrying member ka, or i-reimburse pa na, naman tayo mga provincial hospitals o district. Ang katong mga ma matrita diha, o unsay mga treatments, mo-claim pa mi sa PhilHealth for reimbursement. Lahi ng COVID, advance. Unya, unsa mang yun. I will just tell you now, ha? Nga nung ingon ani kadat ko ang packages. Okay, si Marlon was billed 5.2 million. Wala well, major surgical procedure. Pero of course, as much as possible, ni dugay og maayo ang ventilator, ipaadto gyud, ipa-star gyud ang ICU, og 2.4 million ang mga tambal nga gipangpaslak. Si Winston who underwent a major... And by the way, kanang 5.2 million, wala pa na ilabot sa bayad sa doktor, ha? Sa hospital yeah, na. Hospital charges. Na. Basta itong 3.2 million. Si Winston, who underwent a major surgical procedure in St. Luke's, stayed at a suite, an executive suite. Akpil na ang fees sa top specialist na iyang gikuha 
Ang total niya ng expense was 2.2 million. St. Luke's na. He stayed one week before pre-op and then about five or a week later post-op or two weeks. That's 2.2 million undergoing a major surgical procedure. Advanced. Very advanced surgical procedure. You ask questions. Is it just that in times of this pandemic pa, doon na tayo price ceilings sa mga kilos bugas, sa kalatang sardinas, sa kakilong karne, unya ang namaligya in town sa merkado, kung ma-overprice o gis pesos, katakot-takot ng kiha na dayon yun. Ano man, kay na may price ceilings, kinanglan mga anak, musunod. Pero kung asa unta mo damok, kay COVID pandemic mga ni, asa unta mo damok, katong mga naigo sa COVID, kung asa man, kaya ang gusto nila, hospital man lagi, maka-charge o bisag pila, dipindi na o kinsa, arbitrary. Marlon, ni Sud August 5, namatay alauna pasado sa Kaadlaon, September 6. In other words, one month. Kung si Hal Leo Pilapil, usasan kabuan. Kung si Hal man, Pilapil, total bill, 2 million kapin. The same procedures tanan, appeal na, up to the last hemodialysis. Si Marlon, usapod kabuan, 5.4 million. Kaning tambala, nag-i-charge sa usan ako kaigsoon, matod pa sa iyang asawa, utsin tamil kada dapat apan nakadungog tingaling uh, daghan ang reklamo sa kang Marlon ma mauwi ako na tambal hindi e man ipahatag ang tambal nga akong ipainom unta gismil na lang pero ang among igagaw nga negative kalimagi x-ray walay glassy ko ang sa lungs tanan kalimagi testing katulo ba to puro negative Ipa-star yung tulo ka adlaw o upat. Ipa-inong hapog rin bisibir bisag negative. Kay aron ma-charge ang iyang star na 400,000 equivalent to moderate. There's something wrong here. There's pure fraud going on. But worse, it's costing people's lives. Dili ka mamatay sa COVID, mamatay ka sa protocol na sundon in order to exact the most. Aron maabot ang package nga critical, 750,000. Wapay labot, ana, depende kung nailhan ka, daghang pa ipuno. Kurit di, basa ka sa victim yung family ko yeah. okay na po may gagaw po nila sila naka-experience ko gani yeah, we are victims because our brothers died no? whether we're victims of a crime we're still asking questions right now no? uh, and we will seek the, the help of experts uh, pero pero I think at this point It is enough that these questions are raised. Maklaro man it's it's there all on record, so that the public is forewarned na there are these things going on. Simbako simbako dunasa usasa ilang pamilya nga makinhanglan sa sa intervention sa sa pa hospital. May bawo na sila daan nga these things are going on. And uh, they would ask more questions from the hospital and the uh, and the uh, doctors. Kinanglan ba ni? No? Kung nakarecover na, unya i kemao man ni ang 
modus sa uh, aning uh, team of doctors no uh, bisag recover na ibutag ICU no? kung mahitabo na sa inyong uh, kapamilya no uh, tanas doktor di ba nga sa nahitabo sa kaso sa ni Mayor Marlon Garcia ni Mayor Nelson dito na hinuon sa nakuha ang uh, kagaw no dito sa ICU human sila maka-recover from uh, COVID and the pneumonia induced by COVID. Ako lang, Usbon, kay basigwan niyo ninyo makatch. Sa Kang Nelson, di lang ako taga at namukupya. This is too private, no? This is a certificate of death. This can be disputed in a formal wherever. Pwede mo maka... Pwede na ninyo i-countercheck. Ang immediate cause, cardiopulmonary arrest. Secondary to probable massive pulmonary embolism. And then it bears noting COVID confirmed, it's an antecedent cause, but critical pneumonia recovered. <clears throat> Kang Marlon, immediate cause, septic shock, secondary to catheter-related bloodstream infection, Kama, ventilator-associated pneumonia. Both the immediate and antecedent causes dunay na pariha. Kaya ang antecedent cause, catheter-related bloodstream infection and ventilator-associated pneumonia. Again, ibutang COVID confirmed Critical pneumonia recovered. Doon na pa iuban, gipang mutang diri. Pero starring ni Pirmi ang ventilator-associated pneumonia. Other significant conditions contributing to death. ARDS. Secondary to ventilator-associated pneumonia, pulmonary embolism, acute intestinal obstruction, about other hospitals by using different kind of uh, strategy or management I mean, and uh, sake? Hospitals have different ways of managing as I have learned. Line line. Too late. Too late, belatedly. Because I always thought that all hospitals and primary consideration is to save lives and all doctors and primary consideration is to do no harm. But we have to ask questions on what happened to my two brothers. Because it would seem that my initial belief about hospitals and doctors were contradicted by what I saw in the particular case of my two brothers. But this can be confirmed. Different hospitals have different protocols.
clarification, uh, on what you said about um, if you can avoid hospital. Uh, I know you're going to uh, take that out of context, uh, oh, Dale, no? Uh, because when you can avoid hospitals, I know that's oh, going to be your, your headline, no? Because it sells, eh, yeah, he bashed on me, no? Mm. As I said, kung ma and this is BOH protocol, okay? Kung minor among symptoms, a swab. If you're positive, minor among symptoms, stay at home. Self-isolate. Di ba, mamun na protocol? So, if your symptoms are minor and can be managed, uh, stay at home okay? and take uh, the medically prescribed medication. Because if you go to the hospital needlessly, you'll be exposing yourself to even greater harm in hospital. Not only during the time of COVID. So let's, let's just ato lang nang i uh, ng imong leading question ba din. Ato lang nang i parse to. Even without COVID, doctors always say if you can avoid it, avoid the hospital. Okay? Daghan og mga ang tawagan na sa una, hospital acquired uh, uh, bacteria. Uh, uh, pneumonia. Oh yeah, you know, hospital acquired pneumonia. No? So, uh, so sorry, Dale, uh, you're not going to get your headline. No? I did say avoid hospital. Yes, I at, 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 in, in, in in any case, I, think I never was said. Very clear. Oh, that was very clear. Uh -huh. Because as I said, I, because I had very minor si symptoms, even if I was uh, advised by some doctors, uh, my, my my wife was asked by some doctors, di baka maayo. Uh, at the hospital, not out of medical necessity, but aron na ma monitor. monitor the same more excuse closely. that they gave my brother Nelson. So I said, no, I can handle my symptoms because they are very minor. And basic dito na po sa hospital, uh, ma ma masakit din noon. Suppose to this, let's say, sir, that's with myelin. Minor na po kito lang symptoms po. No, I think, I think the governor, you know. I already. <laughs> yeah, to save so, time. Yeah, and you have to do it. You just review your kuan video. Yeah. yeah. Uh, di ba? Uh, yan ang gikuan kung say, kang Marlon, kung say, Nelson. So, uh, in any case, you know, uh, dito sila hospital, they recover na sila from COVID, but what happened after was what caused their deaths. Aside from looking for experts, di ba tamo kwan sa DOH directly po at Global Kong, di ba kay under ba nila at yung mga hospital? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your advice. No, we will take that. We'll consider your advice to consult the DOH. Let me just tell you this. We are asking the questions. And we will continue to ask the questions until we find our answers. Beyond that, we are not telegraphing our punches. Certainly, we cannot sweep this under the rug. Naibaw ko ang Filipino culture na matay na bitaw at let them rest in peace. But I don't think my brothers will rest in peace. Because there are questions that need to be answered. Not to bring them back to life. Dili naman mabuhi o balik. Si Marlon o si Nelson, dili na. Ilubong na gali na mo. Pero base na lang. Kung amo makabot ang mga tubag sa among mga pangutana, kay angay magyod may mangutana, kaming mga nanghibilin. Base na lang. Kung masayran ang publiko ni ini, daghan pang mga kinabuhi ang masalbar. Daghan pang mga igsuon ang masalbar. Amahan, anak. So this is the reason why we will not rest until we find our answers. So, I mean, focus on that one, Gob, ang question sa sistema sa hospital of Mabayron and Gob. Okay, this press con is ended.